Topic pods open. Rants are done when we do that. Eiler has one in his hands right now, and we will promise to rant. That was a lot better than the last one, right? Good job. Happy Holidays versus Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Every time. You know what? I, a guy that I work with, he was um, he was shopping at Walmart, and I guess he like said Merry Christmas really loud on purpose mm -hmm. to see how the clerk would would respond, and she responded with "You too," and he was like, "You're not allowed to say Merry Christmas, are you?" And she was like, she's like, I can neither confirm nor no. deny that I'm. No, she definitely said that she's not allowed to. Yeah. So shame on you, Walmart. I mean, yeah. give me a break. You you can't let people do what what they enjoy. Yeah. I mean, there's this there's this stupid idea, and it's called relativism. Okay, and these people feel entitled to. I, I don't know, being like, you can't talk to me with certain stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know where that comes from. But they're like, oh, don't don't bring Christmas on me because I don't like it. Yeah. And they have this entitlement about it because that's who they are or whatever. Yeah. Well, thanks to that, it's like, well, guess what? I love Christmas and that's who I am. And I'm using the same argument, but mine's invalid. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me right now? Well, the whole point of like the whole philosophy is morals and like values can change depending on who is holding them. Relativism. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like the whole point is that it's like, it's the reason that, for some reason in America, we've decided we're not allowed to badmouth Islam anymore because we've decided that they are allowed to hold opinions that are contrary to ours, and that's okay. And, like, I understand, like, you're allowed to have an opinion that's contrary to mine, and that's okay. But the problem is when that philosophy becomes violent because it's different from yours. No, let's 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 stay away from what they do versus what we do. I mean, we're talking about their belief versus our belief. Their belief is okay and we can't say anything against it. Mm -hmm. But we have no right to 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 bear our belief. Yeah. It's, it's literally the same argument. It's nonsense. There is zero logic involved in this. Mm -hmm. And that's why relativism works. Is because America is is relativistic. Mm -hmm. They're pragmatic. Pragmatic. Mm -hmm. I mean <sighs> I mean the biggest problem is that people are too offended. People are just looking for a reason to be offended. stupid yeah and you know what this is christmas eve yeah that's how it is yeah merry christmas eve i feel like we should do something that would make them happy like maybe not even talk about this we can always sing silent night together let's open another do you want to do, want to do the whole thing over no <laughs> People need to hear that. Rudolph's bullies. This is kind of another Rudolph's negative. But, uh, we'll keep on looking for a good one. <laughs> Stores selling Christmas stuff a few days after Halloween. Okay, a, a friend of mine had a had a good point to this. If there's people that enjoy Christmas, okay? Don't keep them from listening to Christmas music before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes them happy. So why you shouldn't... You know what's why? funny? This one is Christmas songs on the radio before Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes! Yeah. I used to be totally against it. I'm like, wait! 
Thanksgiving needs to happen. Uh, why though? It. I mean, like, <laughs> why can't we just? You know, why yeah. don't we just sing Christmas songs all all year long? Well, because it's, it's weird to sing about Santa. So, in July. So. Okay. Why is that weird? Because it's not the right season. So? All right. This is rants, dude. We get to do whatever we want. That's fine. I'm going to start singing Santa Claus is Coming to Town on December 26th. <laughs> and I'm not going to stop until I'm never going to stop, apparently. Oh, boy. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Oh, guys, I really hope that you enjoy this uh, this time with family and friends and stuff. Um, really, I mean, we got a really important day. Uh, of course, you know, at least for us, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't really the birth of Jesus. Um, well, I mean, it was... The origins of Christmas are actually... A lot of people are confused by it. It was not that um, the church showed up and decided, we're going to take this pagan holiday and make it... Like, we're just going to you know, have our celebration on the same day. Um, what happened was, they came into this society, and, you know, the society that had a, you know, a winter celebration. And uh, they came in, you know, they, they shared the gospel, and all of these people, you know, came to Christ, and they were like, okay, so... Our entire society is built around these feasts that we have throughout the year. Are we just going to do away with those and change everything about our work calendars, our school calendars, everything? And the church was like, well, no, we don't have to do that. And like, you know, the feast is part of your culture. So what we do is we take that feast and we use that as a special time to worship Christ. That's the origins of it. It was not that we were like, well, we're just going to take a pagan holiday and change the name to Jesus. It was that we had this, like, you know, these feasts built into our culture already. And you think about it, it's a big part of today. Like, if today we all decided, you know what, we're going to completely get rid of Christmas. Well, we still have school schedules built around taking a break during this time. Yeah. So what are we going to do? We're going to have a big feast with family. The whole point of, you know, making it about the birth of Christ was because they're like, well, let's just celebrate, you know, we'll, we'll put special emphasis on a Savior coming into the world during this time. That was the point. That's the huh. origins of it. That's cool. I thought it was just a business thing. I mean, they got people, in, they got like a, a holiday for every month to get people to spend money. There's a lot of months that have a holiday on every single day. There, a lot of them are stupid holidays, like left-handers holiday or something. But that doesn't um, count. Hey, man, if it can, if it's possible for it to get on a calendar, even if it's just the holidays of March calendar or the holidays of December calendar, I say let bygones be bygones. Do I get the day off? No, it's not a federal holiday. It ain't, it ain't a holiday. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That's how, how I roll. selfish we are. <laughs> Come on, man. We don't... <laughs> left hand. Oh, I don't break. know if that one's a holiday. It's probably not. No, it probably is, because there's so many stupid little ones yeah. now. Uh, like February 29th is left-handers day. It only comes around four times a year, <laughs> every four years. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not left-handed. Right. Literally everything in our society is like geared towards right-handedness. There's actually a study that I heard about where they posited the theory that people that are left-handed learn to learn to do everything with their right hand, and they really struggle with everything because they are denying the dominant side of their brain. Because everything in our society is geared towards being right-handed, which is stupid. It's not like it, you're like. It's not like you're any less of a person for being left-handed. Can can we use logic, please? About that? I, I mean, that is the dumbest thing I have. That is not the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I heard a lot of dumb things today. I've heard a lot of dumb stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, guys, but 
Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve. Do you guys want to win this hat? With, you know, it's got bells on it. I don't even know if you can see it because I just realized like it might disappear in the green screen. I don't know. Hopefully it might it just be a red crown. Yeah, maybe. Um, but it's got some bells on it. Uh, you can tweet at Good Choices TV using hashtag Indicots Hat Contest Ten, and uh, we want to see a picture of you in your ugliest Christmas sweater. Just absolutely yeah. the ugliest Christmas sweater. And we will select a winner yep. after Christmas. And every single episode for the 12 Days of Rantmas is different. So come back tomorrow and go and watch all of the other episodes to see if you want those ones. We'll see you guys next time. All right. Thanks for watching.